to my cat's face. Okay. All seriousness. I want you to listen very closely. A lot of misconceptions about 5G on the cell towers. Sure, it can move a lot of data. The higher the frequency that you use, the more information you can cram into it. However, the shorter the range. That's why they're all so close together. Now, you're thinking... Let me think here for a second, because this is going to be a whopper. Alright, and you need to really listen up. A lot of you people are thinking that this is all about making you sick and doing things to your brain and everything like that. That's just a side effect. Side effect. You're way off. The people installing them, half of them don't even know what exactly it is. Okay? They're putting wires together. They're turning nuts and bolts. They're installing it. They know enough of, to get their job done. Let me tell you something. Let's start with a couple things here. So we can get right into the meat of it. Now, I posted up a bunch of stuff on Facebook. Links and everything to all my Facebook friends. About frequencies. Now, if you look at the airport scanners, okay, these are the ones that see through your clothing. Here's the frequency. I'll read this to you real quick here. These AIT units are image free and screen humans using active millimeter wave frequency technology operating in the 24 to the 30 gigahertz band. They can reveal a variety of concealed objects, both metallic and non-metallic, with automatic detection of threats. Alright, we all know that, but there's the frequency. 24, between 24 and 30 gigahertz. Now let's go talk about another thing. You all know what the Apache AH-64D and E models have on the top of their rotors? All right, it's a targeting system. It's a millimeter wave radar system in conjunction with thermal imaging and other infrared systems and TADS, Target Acquisition and Designation System. Okay? What is the frequency of it? First of all, let me tell you, they can see through ground clutter. They can weed that out so it can reveal targets in cover. Foliage. Even see through some buildings, like wood. Alright. And they have a pretty good range on them. Now, you can research some of this yourself, but here is the frequency. 8, 10,000 megahertz range, but this kind of radar is not suitable for the armed helicopter to use because the helicopter flight level then fighter much lower. Airborne radar must be about to have seri serious ground clutter in under the working conditions. The studies show that in the ground clutter, strong environment, easy to identify, an antenna millimeter wave small in size suitable for helicopters and missiles installation through the experiments have confirmed that in 35,000 megahertz of 35 gigs of KA bands and then there's a KU band as well so we'll get into that in a minute near the millimeter wave echo SNR is high and the ground cutter clutter the weak sees through the ground clutter. You understand? Now, that's on a weapon system, the Apache helicopter, used for finding targets. And it can detect and track 250 targets. Now, this Apache system was developed a long time ago, like 1979 into the 80s. 
So it's been around. And now they get into terahertz. But that's not what I'm really here to tell you about, is the Apache helicopter. Let's look at 5G. The 5G frequency band plans are much more complex as the frequency spectrum for sub 6 gigahertz 5G spans 450 megahertz to 6 gigahertz and millimeter wave 5G frequencies span 24.25 or 250 24.250 gigahertz to 52.600 gigahertz and also includes unlicensed spectrum additionally there may be 5G spectrum in the 5925 to the 7150 megahertz range and 64 gigahertz to 86 gigahertz range you see a pattern here this isn't about frying your brain however it is microwave radiation which does have a side effect okay so imagine this that little globe on the top of the Apache helicopter now I'm gonna get into more technical stuff here in a minute too and that's you're gonna, it's gonna blow your mind 5G isn't what you think it is never mind the conspiracy theories and that's the problem a lot of people are going with conspiracy theories or scratching at the surface like I say for every thousand men striking at the branches you got one or two people striking at the root get your information from the horse's mouth from its originators not from the media not from your buddy not from a meme and certainly not from somebody who just climbs towers and installs equipment go to the source it's available that's how you know people end up looking stupid stop it be concise with your information okay weapon systems before I get into the technical stuff about the 5G we're gonna look at weapon systems now we have the mark 15 phalanx close-in weapon system CIWS these are the 20 millimeter guns that are mounted on ships and some facilities that use radar tracking for incoming missiles and they shoot them down before they hit your ship okay they have to pull lead they're highly computerized and all that stuff pretty effective but now that you know they're making missiles that are supersonic so what are they doing now they are going to laser systems where you don't have to pull lead and it's almost instantaneous which brings us to let's see what is this snippet from the web image result for KU band frequency range 12 to 18 gigahertz Remember, these are all in the same the same wavelength spectrum on the electromagnetic spectrum as things that see through walls, see through your clothing, can designate lots of targets in real time, moving and stationary, can see through ground clutter. When you get a chance, take a look at the Athena defense system. This is a laser defense system, not unlike the Phalanx weapon system. It tracks a target, just like it, using radars. And it evaporates them with a laser. Okay, you can look at laser weapon system from Lockheed Martin, straight from Lockheed Martin. You can go right there. I posted that up on there. Now I'll try and put these in my video at what, during editing. 
so that you can just take a quick glance and you go look it up yourself go look it up yourself get informed I see a lot of people milling around talking about this talking about that you know what we're at war you better start paying attention this is they're, they're going for checkmate all right this isn't gonna blow over with the next election or whatever like that it's on they're making their move okay and when they get checkmate it's all over for your guns ain't gonna mean shit so pay close attention now I've already thought of ways to defeat some of these systems and I'll get into that all right what else do we got also get into robotics I posted up a lot of stuff about robotics and these little mini drones and everything and all their capabilities they'll be coordinated probably from these cell towers just like they coordinate a lot of things from cell towers as we speak now the weapons system let me go into some technical stuff now this is from science.gov alright this is an official government website in their science and technology area and here we talk about millimeter wave radars and what they can do it gets deeper it gets better than what the Apache helicopter is capable of doing alright that remember that was done back in the late 70s early 80s this is 2020 here's 2007 <coughs> technology that can be used to unobtrusively detect and monitor the presence of human subjects from a distance and through through barriers you hear me through barriers through walls through cars through whatever barrier you're standing behind can be a powerful tool for meeting new security challenges including asymmetric battlefield threats abroad and defense infrastructure needed back home <laughs> now our team has developed mobile remote sensing technology for battle space awareness and warfighter protection based on microwave and millimeter wave Doppler radar motion sensing devices that detect human presence this technology will help overcome a shortfall of current see through the wall systems they call it, they even have an acronym for STTW which is the poor detection of stationary personnel by detecting the minute Doppler shifts induced by a subject's cardiopulmonary related chest motion the technology will allow users to detect personnel that are completely stationary more effectively this personnel detection technique can also have an extremely low probability of intercept since the signals used can be those from everyday communications so trying to detect them when satellite I mean this is satellite TV uses this stuff cell phones using this stuff all kinds of clutter and they hide it in there they hide it, it can be hidden now where was I the software and hardware developments and challenges for personnel detection and count at a distance will be discussed including 2.4 gigahertz quadrature radar single chip silicone CMOS implementation a low power double side band KA band transmission radar and phase demodulation and heart rate extraction algorithms in addition the application of MIMO techniques for determining the number of subjects will be discussed 
<laughs> then you also have other things. Terahertz, higher frequency. It's a lot of reading in here. Pages. 2015. A mixtureless high frequency interferometer. Fer ugh. <laughs> a mixless <laughs> mixerless high frequency interferometric Doppler radar system and methods have been invented numerically validated and experimentally tested a continuous wave source phase modulator continuously oscillating reference mirror and intensity detector and utilize are utilized the intensity detector measures the intensity of the combined reflected Doppler signal and the modulated reference beam. You know what that means? You can... The, everything has a frequency. Your body, the plants, has absorption rates reflective rates and this is backscatter type radar okay this stuff you're gonna have to look at is so technical okay these things let's read the last part both amplitude and phase are calculated and the Doppler frequency signature of the object is determined let me read that again the Doppler frequency signature of the object is determined. Fire and forget weaponry. You can, a lot of weapons launched from aircraft can be, you can uh, change the frequency of certain lasers and everything like that for a designation. Okay. You can, since you're firing multiple weapons at the same time, you don't want them all going to the same place so you can change the frequency that it's looking for and if you can assign frequencies based off of radar signatures you have a unique fingerprint for each target where am I going with this? Have you put it together yet? Every cell tower having a system like this? 5G can see through houses, can see through foliage. It's like looking at a blank, empty battlefield. And everything that's moving or living or has a certain frequency about it will stand out and you just target what you want and you combine with a laser system bzz, 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 bzz. checkmate see where I'm going with this now the health effects like I said those are side effects is it bad for you absolutely absolutely it's bad for you but that's not the real threat. Think of Tesla towers everywhere. Tesla coils. You know, if you don't know what a Tesla coil is, take look it up. This would be the next best thing. You can control. Remember, these, these cell towers are over the whole United States, pretty much. They cover everything. Checkmate. You wouldn't be able to get near them. They can control whole areas and deem them off limits. Now why would they put something up there that could see through everything? Could have sworn we had a Fourth Amendment, right? Yeah, well they hate that. Remember the goal is world domination. Our country gone new world order 
and the elimination of a massive amount of the population. Read the Georgia Guidestones, they spell it right out for you. And these are from the multinational corporations. Those are the ones doing it, and they're married to China as well, because China has the power to help them accomplish it. And China wouldn't join up unless they had a big part of it. Why do you think all these universities keep taking Chinese money? Look what they did with Trump when he said uh, the people, if they're not going to open up, all these online students need to go home. They can do it from their home. Where's the majority of their students coming from? China. Where's the majority of their money coming from? China. Who are the Democrats in bed with? China. You starting to see what's going on here? Chinese officers getting busted at the border trying to sneak biological material and other secrets out? How'd they get our stealth technology while Hillary Clinton had her server up? This is about taking down our country. They're not going to stop because there's an election. Doesn't matter who wins. If Trump wins, the communists will rise up and throw a fit. If the Democrats win, well, we know what they're up to and they're trying to destroy our country. So what do you think is going to happen there? We're going to say no. And they say, oh, you can't agree to disagree? No. If someone's trying to kill you, do you agree to disagree? Do you compromise? Well, maybe you could just kill me a little bit. You think that's going to happen? People better wake up and get out of La La Land. Just like the story of the farmer and the pigs. Let me remind you about that story. There was a village. They had a wild pig problem. And they were going around eating everyone's crops and everything like that. And they couldn't figure out how to get rid of them. Trying hunting them. There's just too many of them. They couldn't deal with them. So they had this one guy show up. And he's like, yeah, I'll take care of your pig problem. I'm like, how are you going to do that? by yourself oh yeah it's no problem he puts out a feed bin all the pigs eventually you know after a couple days they realize there's food in there and they start eating it every day he put food in there and they keep coming up and eating nice and safe nothing happened to them hey free food and one day he starts putting posts up they didn't pay any attention just posts no big deal. Hey, there's still free food here. Another day he comes in and he puts the fence up. And they come right on in like usual, eating the free food. Didn't pay attention to the walls. They, they weren't doing anything to them. They still were getting their free food. No danger there. Then he puts up a gate. Yeah, they still come and eat and everything like that. And one day... They're all in there. He walks up and he closes the gate. Checkmate. Because you're not paying attention to the posts that are being set up around you. They're working to get checkmate. Now, you can call this a conspiracy theory. <coughs> the truth is the technology is there. The weaponry is there. And I'm sure the will to do it is there. These people want total control. Comes out of their own mouths. They hate the Constitution. It's in their way. It's outdated. Because they want to rule you. They want open borders. Why do you want open borders and, and millions of people flooding in? Because you want to dilute the vote. Dilute the vote of the people that actually live there. They want to give them voting rights. Okay. Now, I shouldn't have to convince you people of this. If you're not getting ready, I mean, stop going to ball games and stuff, you know, it's like, hey, let's go over here and uh, watch a football game. Really? In the middle of a war? We're in the middle of a war. If you don't realize we're not in the middle of a war, then you've got a serious problem. Are you prepared? If you're not prepared, you better get going. If you are prepared, keep preparing. Get others involved, because we're going to need everyone. Remember, we're dealing with China. They have 1.2 billion people. 
got 1.2 billion rounds of ammunition? You think they care about them people? Hell, they'll send them against you without rifles just to use up all your ammunition. Like the Russians did to the Germans. They don't care. How many ports of entry did the Chinese own over in California? There's so much. Better start researching. Go to the horse's mouth. And that doesn't get me even started on the, uh, the drones. Okay. These drones. Swarms. Swarm drones. Look those up. I put a bunch of posts up. If you're not my friend on Facebook, let me know. And I'll get you there. And you can go down and look at my postings. Everything I post is towards an end. And that's to show you the big picture. All right? Each one's a puzzle piece. And you make the connection. So if you think you know about 5G, think again. It's got way more potential than you ever thought it could be. Imagine the power of that in the hands of these scumbags that want you dead. You're being distracted. You're scratching the surface. You're too busy bitching and moaning about the, the mainstream media. We all know they lie. We all know it's propaganda. We don't need to keep pointing it out. Move on. You're striking at one branch of a tree of a thousand branches. Antifa. That's one branch of in a tree of a thousand branches. Go to the root. Go to the horse's mouths. Read their books. Read what they say. Go to the source. 5G is a weapon system. There is no hiding from it. Combine that with ground penetrating radar, they could, you know, from a drone at 35,000 feet. They can see 10, 20 feet into the ground. You think you're going to just dig tunnels? Have an underground bunker? They're bunker busting weapons it's checkmate hello they're putting the fence posts up around you now there is ways you can deal with it and I've devised ways to deal with something like that there is a way but I'm not going to give the answer out here for them to see because then they'll have a contingency for that I'm sure they probably will have them they might have thought about it themselves too who knows but that's something that gets passed along the grapevine think use your frickin' head stop being a couch potato stop watching TV stop buying their shit Every time you buy their stuff, they get more money. Money translates into power because they buy people. Where do you think most of those protesters and rioters come from? Thanks to the virus, a lot of people are out of work. Oh, they need money. Hey, I'll give you $25 an hour to go bust some windows. What do you think is going to happen there? To, to shallow thinking morons. Oh, I'll, I'll take 20. I'll be out there all day busting windows. Right? Watch the rest of my videos. I'm going to teach you how to deal with these things. This is a new type of warfare. This isn't the last war. Everything's new. Your tactics got to change. Your way of thinking has to change. And I'm going to show you how to do it. Weed out the conspiracy theories. Okay, you could call this a conspiracy theory. 
if you want to. But then you have a lot of questions to ask yourself. A lot of questions to ask yourself. Stop striking at the branches, go for the root. No more playing around, get serious. Instead of going to a ball game, go buy some food, go buy some gear. Instead of watching TV, spend that time doing some research. Learn. Some of you techies out there, start digging. Because that's not all. I'm going to leave it at this right now. Make sure you share my videos. Keep watching YouTube analytics. Share them. Wake people up. You people who think you're awake, you're a level five awake. You need to get to level one. Go to the root. Look at the big picture. It's out there for you to see. All the puzzle pieces are out there. Nothing I've told you is classified information. Use your frickin' head. Energy weapons. Like I said, I wasn't doing this for my health, I told you. I'm going to show you some things. And this isn't all. There's so much more. Energy weapons. You have no idea the kind of energy weapons they got. I've covered a lot of stuff on weather manipulation. Showed you the links. If you're watching this and you want to see the proof out of the own horse's mouths friend me on Facebook. It's at Randy Lampropolis. I'll put it in the link there. The bottom. Friend me on Facebook. I put this stuff up there. I have 500 friends. I have 28 subscriptions. Really, guys? What are you doing? What are you doing? You think I'm full of shit? If, if, if you think I'm full of shit, tell me. And I'll school you. What's it going to take? For checkmate? For them to slam shut the gate? Is that when you're going to wake up? When you're already on the box cars, or you're already getting zapped by a laser because you wandered into the wrong area? Hmm? Agenda 21, Agenda 2030, mega cities, no one in the countryside. What do you think they're going to do with all those people in the countryside that aren't going to go along with it? You think they're going to talk you into it? <laughs> no. You're going bye bye. Time to get serious. This should be on your mind 24-7. We're running out of time. The election is coming. And that's when the shit's going to hit the fan. One way or another. May not be on that day. But that's going to be a trigger. It's going to be a milestone on their schedule. You wait and see. If you're not ready, then, you know, it's your own damn fault. I'm trying to help you out. Have a good day.